Well, good morning, everybody. Another day to start working on my clay. Uh, don't know how, what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to do whatever appears before my eyes. Time to play with some clay. So I'll be working on this arm today. Um, I'm going to probably have to tilt the whole clay so I can get underneath the feathers there and work on the back of his arm. But uh, that will be approached when I get to that point. Okay, I'm going to have to move this arm forward a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to have to reconstruct that arm. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. This ain't going to be a simple fix. To reconstruct that arm a little bit. All right, I made another horseshoe uh, nail, <laughs> so to speak, to uh, anchor this arm against the body of the uh, warrior. I can't have the arm sticking out there. There we go. Now just push it in a little bit further. Good. The arm looks a little more proportional now. It doesn't look uh, quite as stubby as, as it did before. I've still got to work on these muscles here. And I'll do that right now.
Just to show you how I got this, I screwed the base onto this support here so that I can tilt the clay. And you can see why I have to, because right underneath the foot there, it's not quite flat. And the belly of the horse needs to be worked on too. I've turned the uh, horse or tilted him the opposite direction and uh, I'm not sure I can even get the view of this but I'm going to do the best I can It really helps to have a different perspective on the clay when you, you're working on it. It's a little awkward, but it does help. I'm going to use a bigger wire tool to shape the belly a little bit. You just can't do some things with a small tool. Of course, before I take it to this foundry, I'll do a lot more of this. You got to fill in underneath the uh, blanket here because I can't have that deep undercut. There we go. Alright, I'm shooting this with my cell phone because my battery is dead on my GoPro. I permanently placed the rifle where I want it now. And I think that's going to be a good position for it. The main is going to come in, of the horse is going to come into play on that. And uh, that I got to work out. And maybe not next, but... Uh, soon i uh did work on the uh arm and the 
under belly here. I mean, uh, this underarm here. And uh, smooth it all off with a uh, my Ronsonol lighter fluid. I sealed the rifle in where it's going to go uh, and filled in behind and under so that it can be cast as one piece. All right, that's going to be it for tonight. And I'll be back on this next time uh, when I hope you'll tune in. <laughs> If you like my video, please give it a like. Now that's a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you get all my videos. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.